Hello friends, this is CA Sandeep Modi. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this uh, video, we are going to learn everything about data validation in a particular cell. Uh, as you can see, I am under the head data and then data validation. In this, there are three tabs, data validation circle, invalid data, clear validation circle. So today in this video, we are going to learn everything about data validation. Here, after clicking here, we have three tabs, settings, uh, in, input message, alert, error alert. And here, there are multiple options. Uh, first option which we discussed in the last video was that how we can prepare a drop-down list. So let me just go through it once. Here you can select a list. Wait. So this is what we are going to cover. Data validations, all the variations in this video. So first was which we were discussing was drop down list. Here are the names of the students which we want to put apart from this names. Nothing else should be selected. So we have prepared a drop down list. So here I am on C6. Here I want a drop down list of C5. You can say here I will keep my cursor then go under the head data data validation. Here in this any value will be changed to list and then in source I will put all the names which I want and here I will click OK and as you can see my drop down is prepared. Now many times this question come if I want to update this sheet for example I want to write Sandeep fun and this is not this will not get added automatically in this sheet. So one option is that go under the data validation sheet and you have to change again this source and then OK. Now it will come. But one more method is that put this raw data in table. OK, my header does not. My table has a header. No. OK. Excel automatically gives the header name. Now let's do it once again. Data validation. Here. Now if I select this as you can see it is coming here. Now if I add something here it will automatically come here. As you can see when you put a data in Excel table it's automatically get added into the list. This is where you can update your list uh, whenever you want. This was one of the function in data validation. Now let's learn everything else. Here I want to restrict the data between 100, 100 and 300. If you want to put that restriction in a particular cell, how will you put it? Here I am on E3. I have put my cursor on E3. On this cell I want. If you want on multiple cells you can select multiple and do it. It will be valid. Now I am just doing on one cell. Here data validation input value whole number. Whole number should be between 100 and 400. As I said I want data should always be between 100 and 400. So this I have selected whether it's whole number decimal both are doing the same so whole number okay now let me put 20 here it will give me an error and now if I put 101 here it data got accepted if I put 100 401 it's not accepting this is way you can easily do data uh, cell verification now let me move ahead if you want date difference between particular date for example if you want date should be uh, in particular month only so that you can do it here also many options are there between not between equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to here i am selecting date should be greater than 31st march 2020 if it would be small it will not accept so let me put a date which is greater than 31st March. 
31st May 2020. It will accept. If I put this 19, it will not accept. As you can see, it will give me an error. So this is this can come very ha handy for doing data validation. Now two things more are there. Text uh, text length also you can do it. Means for example, if you want text length to be greater than or between, for example, in GST length should be 15 only. So you can write here 15 only equal to 15, or it should be greater than 14. Invoice number should not be greater than uh, less than 16 should only be there. So max 16 we can write. And here if I write more than 16, it will not take. Now again, two, three, four, five, six. It will not take because it's 16. Now it will take. It's 15. So this way you can easily do data validation or cell validation in a particular cell. If you have any doubts, uh, relating to this you can write on the comment box we are happy to solve all your queries now let's move ahead now if you want something in your inbox means some messages why cursor is hovering over the cell you can write here input messages excel data validation hi here as you can see we got a message only in this cell now if you want error message to be also be customized you can do it like this stop messages there warning is there information is there this is the wrong format this is the wrong format let me first put it here if i am putting it if i already one validation is there greater than the date now alert message this is wrong hello now if i am putting this less than this is wrong hello this cell validation is easily easy method of putting a cross check to any cell or any reference in your report if you have any doubts you can write on the comment box if you liked our video please like share subscribe and tell your friends also to follow us for more learning thank you